Okay, are we gonna start recording? It's recording right now. We're gonna Action? Come... Huh? Hey folks, welcome back. Jojo here. Daryl got... video. Yep, got a Daryl with me today. Part of my production staff, he's back. And they got soundtracks this time. And he's got soundtracks, which we can't play really like. Oh, Daryl's back. That's how you can tell Daryl's back. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Wolfpack Garage Vlog. Working on the old 66 Impala. What are we doing today, Daryl? What are oh. you doing today? Well, today we're going to try to hang this master cylinder, the new power dual circuit master cylinder with proportioning valve. I got the little guy here. He's going to do all the greasy under car stuff, and I'm just going to do the clean, easy stuff on top of the car and kind of point where it's going to go. That's my plan anyway. I don't know how well that's going to work. What do you think of that, buddy? Is there a boo soundtrack? Is there a boo soundtrack? Ooh. It's an alien. Rocket man. ship alien. All right, what's the first thing? We got to take off our sunglasses, put on our safety glasses, right? Because working in the garage, you always got to be safe, even at home. First thing we got to do is we're going to take off that, that old master cylinder, right? Yeah. Boy, I hope it don't get hot today. Oof, we were getting low anyway. Look at that. Oh, there we go. It's working. It's doing its thing. Yep. What do I need to hold this bottle for? Because I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put that in there. And then watch your eyes. Oh, all right, one more. All right, that should be enough fluid evac out. So when we take it off, take it off, it won't. There we go. I should garage sale fine. Paid like I don't know, fifty cents for this. Brake fluid is nasty stuff. It's hydroscopic. You know what that means, Al? Yeah. That means the anti-boiling agents or something that keep it from boiling make it where it wants to attract water and that mm, that is a nasty proposition got the old flare nut wrench set I got room later today oh yeah jojo soaked these down already these lines and he don't like bending off lines, you know. That's why I use a good quality flare them. wrench set. Here, yeah, show him this one. This is the next size down. But then, hey, show him how wide the open jaws are on this side. It's like twice as wide as a regular wrench. So after you break the tube nut loose with the flare end side, you got the ability to turn the tube nut with the wide open end wrench size. Hey, Al, can you find somewhere around here there are a pair of my undies that I use for a shop rag. Yeah. What size do you suppose that nut is on that master cylinder? That old Chevy. Probably a 19, I'm guessing. 19? No, bro. We live in America, and classic American cars, they use imperial measurements. Tell by looking at that that that's a 9 16th. That's 9 16 of an inch. That's exactly what I said. You said 19. Oh. We don't get this whole car done this summer. We're not going to haul nothing. So, you don't want grease underneath your fingernails today? Oh, oh, there it is. Easy as that. Can you imagine working on this car when it was new? I mean, how easy is easy? Where'd your Coke bottle go? We'll dump the rest of this in there. Oh, oh. hey. I forgot earlier that I had these fender covers cur uh, courtesy of Brooks Island. Not a sponsor, but a really, but hey, I'll tell you what, it's always island time. It's always five o'clock on Brooks Island. And if you guys who are in the know, you know, you know. Okay. All right, next step. We gotta figure out what set of bolts we gotta take out to hang that new master cylinder. There's quite a few of them there. Not super sure the directions are kind of vague, so we're gonna do on that. We gotta pull a push rod off of there too. You're gonna to have to crawl in the car. In the car? Yeah, and undo that. Oh yeah, look at that. So here's a clevis underneath here. Oh no, yeah, here it is. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get this on film, buddy. It's fine. We're definitely not. Here, get this out of here. Let's go ahead. All right, Jojo the human contortionist or whatever. Had to reach up in there. We couldn't capture this on film. It's got this safety clip on here that goes on the clevis. If anybody that knows old old cars at all, they all know this clip. It, it kind of pushes on and then it locks. You know, 
you got to pry it up, boom, take it off. This is done. Come on outside here, buddy. Okay, look at this. That comes out. So, well, I guess you just slam that hog in there, right, Al? I yeah. mean, what else can a guy do? Just slam the hog. All, All right, right, let's do some hanging. <gasps> Easy. Will this fit over that hole? Let's see. Da, da, la, la, la. Oh, man, look at that, Al. It covers all that. Oh, all right. perfect. That's perfect. You are absolutely, positively correct. So we're pull your hand out. Put this on here. That's why it's here. Hold these nuts. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> got him again. Dad joke. That's these nuts. So we'll use these greasy nuts because those are fine thread. Those are coarse thread. And then we'll use two of these lock washers because these are undoubtedly made in the United States and these are most likely made in China. All right, here we go. He Just slam it in there, Joey. Oh, get in there. What's the interference here, Hoss? Frick, what's going on now? Oh, it might be the dipstick. Nope, not Alex, the other dipstick. Oh, but probably not. Oh, you know what else it might be, Al? What? Might be the freaking. Oh, nice. Might be the clevis. Let's turn that all the way in. All right, let's try that again. Like a glove, a really super tight glove. I see. I see a potential clearance issue, but we're going to tighten it down anyway and see what the heck is going on. See how tight those original studs are coming through the firewall to the back of the power brake booster bracket? I'm going to put some... I'm going to put a... I'm gonna put a washer behind here to save me the trouble, the agony of tightening that down and having these two studs hit each other and still having the brake booster loose. So I'm gonna have to do that. Got the well, just as I suspected, the studs on the car are longer and they bottom out against the studs for the booster. So now you have to blast this all apart and we either got to drive those studs out through the firewall or cut them off. Make them shorter to match the other ones down low. What? That was not clearly portrayed to me in the instructions. So let me take this all back off. We'll cut the studs and put it all back on again. We'll be right back. All right, boys and girls. Story time with Uncle Jojo. These longer studs... These studs are longer than these studs. These studs hit the bolts that hold the vacuum brake booster on this bracket. So, we gotta figure out how long these lower studs are. They are like 916s or whatever. That's, oh, geez. These ones are like way longer than that. So what we got to do is we got to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back that nut to 9 16 and then I'm going to take a die grinder with a cutoff wheel, cut the studs. If that doesn't work, we're going to be in a pickle. Okay, see how I did that? So if I run my blade, if I run my cutoff wheel right flush with the head of this nut and the nut doesn't move, or if I get a line going before that nut moves, I'll be able to shear off that much of the stud and then having the nut on there is actually a double duty. It'll clean the last thread that I booger up with the wheel. So I can just twist it off, boom, it'll be clean. We'll check it a couple times, you know, hit it with a file if we need to, which I highly doubt. And then we'll try this again for like the 50th time. Here's my die grinder with my cutoff wheel. I don't like it any more than you do. You know, it doesn't have a guard. I'm wearing safety glasses and a shield. Believe it or not, a place I used to work, that this is what they gave me with no guard or anything on it. So 
Daryl took off. He was terrified about what we're going to do here. So he's like, oh, I don't want to be here for that, Dad. Okay. One minor little setback, that's, you know, custom car work, right? Nothing's perfect. Plate. And here we go. Daryl was nice enough to find all the hardware I dropped. That guy gets me right in my feels. Mm. Every time. Such a good boy. That looks good. All right. All right, we're making progress. This darn thing is on. I'm probably not gonna record putting the push rod in because that's such a tight area up there. Oh, Shane Boy was worried about clearance of the dipstick with this deal. I mean, it's tight. It's tight, but it's doable, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that unless it rattles like crazy or something like that. Master cylinder power booster is officially installed minus a push rod, but you know, you guys know how that goes, right? Just give it a little free play, lock it down. And then we'll bleed this disaster when we get to the line phase. All right. I might cut this video off here and just make two little videos out of it. I don't want to make a crazy long video because then people fall asleep. Or they click off and they're like this guy hopefully by cutting off those those studs cutting them shorter i saved somebody the trouble of doing what i did previously you know getting the thing all bolted up tightening it only to find that the two studs boop, hit each other and the master cylinder wasn't tightened completely against the firewall we're all learning together right i'm sure it's projected on youtube somewhere but i didn't I didn't research it. I thought it was a simple deal, you know, blaze my own trail. If you're enjoying this content, you know, uh, 66 Chevy Impala content. Hey man, you know, man, give us a, you know, give us a thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notifications. So, you know, when we got a new, you know, a new video posted, this isn't the only thing we do here, right? We got a couple other old cars. We're going to, we got some more, car mostly car related content going on that we're going to be recording here so we're going to keep her going and then through the winter time we got a game plan in our minds we're thinking in our minds during winter we'll do some car stuff but you know maybe more like technical in the garage with the door shut and the heat on type car stuff you know because jojo you don't want to get cold so keep that in mind as the year progresses or winds down stay tuned for line Running lines, part 5,862 or whatever. We're going to tear into the lines next. Remember, if you can't be good, at least be good at it, right? Right.